Welcome back to Let's Play Quantum Break. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we gotta save Will. Easy as that. Oh, barbed wire. Again. Or I guess it is this door. Jack Joyce, man of action. Man, just wanted to get the guy's sniper rifle. Fine. <laughs> Joyce is in the library, then who'd they spot up here? Don't know, but I'm giving us 30 seconds to find out, then we get the hell out of here. I'm not going to be caught on this rooftop when Serene makes a building go boom. We got contact, but Whoa. One to spare. That's a weird audio hitch up there. So far, the audio in this game had been stellar. Oh, shit. Well, I wanted a sniper rifle. Hey there! Sleep well, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Oh shit! Suppressing fire! Dude! Let me try that again. Oh, I don't have any shields. Fuck. Embarrassing. Odd. Several dicks. Damn it, I was really hoping some of those hit the other guy. You know what? Fuck this guy. Oh no, no. I had to reload that thing. Oh, it didn't. Fuck yes. Loaded for bear. Gotta get down there. Tell you this. Whether we're doomed to watch him die right in front of us all over again, or whether we can actually save Will, I'm going to do my Stand damnedest to, to try. I'm going in. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> really surprised they made it Beth who shot that guy on the roof as opposed to me. Will? Already gone. Lobby. Lobby, I'm running out of time. You know, I remember looking up here and wondering if there's a way to get up here. Will. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. Do it, Jack!
Hey, Will. Here's a present. The audio is out of sync. How? How unpleasant. Oh, Jack. Will! Come on! Come on, let's go. Ah. Monarch had it the whole time. Does it work? Came back from the future. For me. Fracture wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? Theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. Gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, 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 no. It's the only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't want And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. We get one shot at this. It's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set, but the future is. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, then... No egg metaphors. <laughs> Still though, what's up with the uh We have to get out of here. With the audio. The Bradbury. Whoa. That's very specific. There's Amy, Jack and uh, Bath off to the side. Here we are discovering the time machine. Bradbury. That's the old swimming pool where I... I know what it is. No, wait. Oh, fuck. It's just a, uh, a bright light again. Over here. Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky the past out. remains intact. Stick to the plan. Nothing changes. It's all and the Novikov self consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. The, uh, I was pretty, pretty pleased how early I called that. You know, because he was crushed by rubble, not shot in the head. Okay, so. they're gone. Let's go. Huh. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. There's a checkpoint. If we keep getting audio issues, I'll just load. All right. Or, you know, Through quit here. the game or something. There's a door over here. Yes, but I need to be uh, obsessive about potentially leaving behind goods and services. I called that pretty exactly, using a uh, time rush to get him out of the way. But the only detail I got wrong was that Jack pulled him out of the harm's way instead of pushing him.
Please don't die on the way back to the uh, time machine. Amy. You can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. Well, I mean, when you put you it Monarch that way. I measure this whole time. How? Why? Jack? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized chronon field regulator. I knew there was a reason for this area down here. I remember this section. Dr. Emeril and Dr. Kim both took positions at Monarch. Now I think I understand why. Wouldn't it be wild if this was the same positions the ragdolls had been in when I left? Yeah. Well, perfectly still. There's something on your forehead. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh. 92% game completion. I'm doing great. Oh. That was a fun sequence where I first learned how to do that. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Come on, this place is insane. I believe it's on here. I don't remember if I mentioned this before, but yeah, right. Oh, right. Right there in the middle is part of the poem that gets read to Alan at the very beginning of Alan Wake during the tutorial level. Beyond the lake he calls home is a deeper, darker ocean green where the waves are both wilder and more serene. So yeah, two of the most important characters in this game seem to have been named as a reference to Alan Wake. These guys really loved that game. Just adjusting my mic. And frankly, I really appreciate the dedication. And this will be full of dead people, too. Oh, shit, watch out. <sighs> well, hey. Be cold this way now. Oh, it's me they're dragging. Don't do it.
That was a nice effect. I like that. I don't know if, uh... I'm still not a fan of uh, time loops where you can't change anything. When you start messing with your own immediate past, that's where things become a headache. And even I'm not sure how I feel about that. Waking up Beth just there would have complicated things immensely. Final moments. Sure, let's do this. I'm waiting for the cleaners to get here. I feel like, if nothing else, that would uh, convince me that Monarch was uh, not exactly on the level. The fact that they have cleaners on uh, staff. Because I don't think they were talking about the janitor. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna level with you. I thought... Oh. Look. I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young. And afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah. I get it. Come on. Let's just go to the future and fix this mess. So... This is the car we saw here earlier. I guess we somehow hotwired the, uh, the... You know, Nick, the cab driver's, uh, car. Amy was so worried about somebody getting here before us when we spotted the cab. But it was us all along. I hope she made it out okay. I totally thought that, uh... I don't know why I thought this it would be effortless for a, a, you know, a game development studio to just remove the vehicle. If it, you know, But I thought it's like, Oh, it's a leftover uh, element from when they were. It's, it's, it's. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that it's a thing that was left there if you choose hardline, so that they can explain why Nick the cab driver is here. Of course, it doesn't make any sense because, uh. Here's the entrance. Even if that was the case, why would he already be here when you arrived? Hey, Jack, we should go inside. Yeah, I'm with you. I can't believe there. I'm here a fourth it's time. Locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. How could you work with the guy after... Oh. Wait. Be downstairs. Hey, night owls. It's your boy Bobby. Listen, if anybody's at the protest at the Riverport University, I'd sure love to hear from you. I'm hearing some pretty disturbing things, so give me a call here at the studio. I think we could all use a first hand account of what's going down. I've uh, actually tried to call some people I know down there, but my calls don't seem to be getting through. 
Anyway, our lines are open. We'll be right back. Achievement unlocked. Media Baron. Find all emails, presentations, TV shows, radios, and posters. Oh, there's my timer. I just wanted to check this for, uh... The other one I didn't check. Uh... Last second rescue. You managed to get to Will in time on the second try. Feel pretty good about these. No. Oh. I'm going to have to edit that out because it suddenly uh, alt tabbed. But, um, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Quantum Break when we uh, head downstairs and try to save the world. Wait. Yeah, just one more Chronon source. Later!